What's going on guys, Teen Mechanic here. I told you there would be some interesting, or better yet, funky stuff coming to the channel. And if this doesn't scream funk and 80s and disco and earth, wind and fire, I don't know what does because what the hell is this thing? The term for this is a vruck. Uh, I, I'm not sure if that's an actual term for it, but man, that's the term that I'm going to use and that fits it because this thing is... Frankenstein in terms of metal and fiberglass and a bed that is fiberglass and a hood that is fiberglass. Everything is glass on this thing. And it was apparently, it's a Ford Econoline. Uh, I believe it's a one ton, three, so it's a, it's a E350 technically. Uh, and it was done by Triple E, which is a Canadian um, ma uh, motorhome manufacturing company. So they'll buy P30s or whatever Ford chassis. I th I'm not sure if they're I, I believe, I don't know if they also did Ford and, with their RVs, but I know Triple E did a lot of like Chevy P30. So they're a Canadian motorhome um, manufacturer. They did this. What I'm to understand, all I know about this is what I've really been told. So this is, like I said, Triple E and, and apparently Camelot conversion. I mean, that's that's got to be some sort of partnership or something because Triple E is, maybe they're the ones who have done the motorhome part and the fiberglass, but Camelot has done all of the posh aspects which is a good word um, and they have they're they're the ones that you know maybe you'll find these curtains here they're the ones who are responsible for that oh, god it's just it's just it's just hilarious I mean I guess the market that that this was trying to I, I don't know I mean this was really the introduction of the luxury pickup nowadays you see hundred thousand dollar half ton Sierras, and that's nonsense to me, but this is where it started. If you think about it, I mean, the luxury pickup has been a concept for a while, I guess, now that I've seen this, because this is the first iteration. Uh, apparently, a little bit later, Ford made something of their own that was apparently much cheaper, is what I'm told, uh, called the Ford, uh, Centurion, and that was the original, that was an actual Ford, uh, not a Triple E Camelot conversion, etc. It was a Ford. And they, I, I'm not sure how they looked even. I've never even seen a picture of one. So th this is the only time I've ever seen something like this. I'm going off of secondhand knowledge myself. That was, that is also apparently secondhand knowledge. This is such a strange concept, but it just goes to show you, this is where the idea of a luxury pickup truck started, um, which is so bizarre to me and so cool, um, because nowadays you've got Ford F-150 Harley Davidsons and, you know, special edition things as well. But, you know, the luxury pickup is, is just, is something that is, I would go out on a limb and say it's a market in and of itself. I'm going to show this here. There's a tag here on the, in the door jam, uh, triple E, uh, they are the ones who, um, who, 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 like I said, who built this thing. You can actually see this headliner is falling down. You can see where the fiberglass starts and where the metal ends. And it's, I guess that the, I was told that the technical name for this, what would be on the registration would be a, a Ford, a 1981 Ford E350 triple E Camelot conversion. And that is, that's a mouthful right there. Uh, it's the what? Imagine that as a badge. <laughs> it's a nice badge. Actually, yeah, that would be that would be much better if they had a nice, you know, bright work, right? Along the side and integrated would be a nice a nice uh 4350 Triple E Camelot conversion badge right there. Right there's enough room right there. All all in chrome. This thing is um weighed down by a 460. The reason I say that is because it doesn't run. In fact, I am told it's seized. Um but it was going to go to the crusher, right? And why would you crush this thing? at all. It doesn't matter if it runs. It is the perfect lawn ornament. Now I got to get this hood open and that's tough to do with one hand. So give me a half sec. All right. So you can see there are no room. There are no room. There is no room for activities over here. Uh, you can see there's the carb. That's a 460 in there. Uh, apparently it's seized. The smog pump is right on top. So they, they got their priorities in order. Um, but I mean, that, that's also seized. So this thing, there's no way that it hasn't sat for anything less than like 15, 20 years. I think this thing is real, real crusty. Um, I'll show you the interior cause that's the important part. There's not much to see under the engine. If the doghouse were to come off, you'd see more, but honestly it's a 460. It looks pretty standard. It's just so hard to get at, right? So that's why this is at this point, it's lawn ornament status, but look at this. You've got lots of keys because that's how RVs go. Um, but just, just, just look at these seats. This is 
this is a, a head pillow. This, these seats swivel, right? Like it's just, it's an RV. That's what this thing is. Um, the problem with this particular RV is the hole over there in the floor and the hole in the door sills and just, but this, does this fold down to a mattress? Um, I think it does, but uh, I haven't tried it. Right. Yeah. I think this thing folds into a bed, which would be the whole conversion van thing. I would live in this hundred percent. Don't care what anyone thinks. This would be awesome. Look at that. This is just cool. You can see the Pioneer vintage, relatively vintage Pioneer speakers over there. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, this thing is just super cool. The, 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 the carpet and the drapes and the beds and the, it's just, it's just awesome to me. I, I love this thing. Um, I wish it ran and drove and I wish I had more money because then I would be inclined to buy it. It's actually got the same mirrors as my uh, truck over there, but man, this thing is just so cool. Another interesting thing I was told this started these 1981 Ford E350 Triple E Camelot conversions started at forty thousand dollars in 1981, and adjusting for inflation, that's somewhere around a hundred and hundred eighty thousand dollars in today's money. I think something insane for this. So there you go. There you have it. $180,000 van truck, RV conversion van, triple E, whatchamacallit. And it's just so cool. You'll never see one of these again, I don't think. I mean, unless I'm sure you will. Not quite exactly like this. They're all so strange. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more ridiculous nonsense, <laughs> then just let me know in the comments below. Uh, I, I really enjoyed making this video. Uh, so yeah, if you want to see anything more like it, let me know. Uh, interested to hear what you think. So yeah, I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Bye-bye.